show's rated X. Rated X? It's rated X for excellence. Excited. It's rated X for ecstasy. It's rated X for Xylophone. excitement. Xylophone. It's rated X for Xylophone. xylophones. It's rating X for X-ray. You need to have your head examined. <laughs> banana with another great recipe but before we even start this recipe I'm going to show you all the ingredients that we use here on the set for <gasps> ah! what, what is this oh no this is awful listen when you see this in front of you I want you to just say no and give it the banana blow <sighs> <laughs> Woo! Listen, we don't need any of that stuff to have fun. We are high naturally. Aye! So listen, let's just quickly, I want to show you what we've got. We've got this great recipe uh, called banana pancakes. And all we do is just we put all this stuff together and uh, cook it up in banana pancakes. But listen, before we start, let's first of all go to the Banana Bureau because we have something we want you to learn. A diet consisting solely of bananas will sustain life for a long period of time because of the high nitrogen content. This has been Chet Banana from the Banana Bureau. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry you caught me taking breath. Okay, now, uh, thank you, Banana Bureau. Oh, look, I, oh, listen, it's Christmas in August. I tell you, I got some of the best gifts imaginable in the world. So look at all these gifts here. So what I'm going to do is to open up this first one right here, and it says, uh, My Sweet Little Carmenita, I've been watching you prepare all those great recipes from my kitchen that you learned when you were just a little bam bambina. I can't help but notice you're as messy as ever, so I'm sending you this with all my love, Grandma Carmencita. Oh, how sweet. I tell you, Grandma Carmencita is always sending me gifts. Oh, look, look, it's just what I've needed. It's a little cup towel with bananas on them, isn't it? Wait, it's sort of hard to see the bananas. Wait, let me go like this. Look, it's a cup towel with bananas all over them. Wait, why, do, why won't it go straight? Okay, there it is there. Isn't that wonderful? And in case you can't see at the home audience, these are all little bunches of bananas right here. Oh, how cute. Okay, something to wipe my hands on. Okay, throw that away. Now, what do we have next? Okay, let me see. I always like to feel the... Let me see. Let's do... This is a mystery package. Let's do this one for next. Okay. There it went. Okay. 
What in the world? Okay, this is from, wait, let me get all of this wrapping off of here. What does this say? Cardman, happy bananas always, love and banana kisses, Rachel. What is, oh, look at this. Oh, Rachel, thank you so much. What does it say? God help me, I think I'm a banana. Oh, thank you, Rachel, so much. I tell you, it's just like Christmas in July. Okay, now what do we have next? Oh, is it August? Okay, well, it just seems like July because it's so hot out. I tell you, it's just awful. Okay, now what do we have here? Okay, Carmen, I found these at the Woolworths in San Antonio. Maybe you can use them in your next recipe. Love, Dick and Carol. Okay, let's see, what are we have? Oh, oh, look, but what, oh, there's two of them with little hooks on them, but what is it? It says candy-filled fruit. Oh, how wonderful. Let me just open these up. This is one of those things that you put on the end of your finger like this. Mmm, oh, oh, it's delicious. And then you know what, when I get through, I can just screw them on and off, and wear a little, and let me take this tacky paper tag off. I can hide things in these little bananas and wear them. Oh, won't that be cute? I can eat all the candy, hide, uh, well, I don't know, whatever kind of powder you hide in, you know, in little containers like this, and wear them. Ooh, I love it, I love it. Something you can eat and wear. Oh, I tell you, so many gifts. Okay, what is this? Dear Carmen, I watch your show every night. My dad lets me stay up late. He says you're kind of fruity, but I really think he's bananas about you. I found a gift for you. I hope you like it. Be careful not to bruise it. Your friend Cheryl. Oh, isn't that sweet of her? Okay, and now let's see what this is. Oh, wait, I can tell. Oh, oh no, it's the laughing banana. And I want you to know, there is a long story about this laughing banana. And I want you to know that this banana has been passed around from generation to generation at my friend's house. And every year, they give it to another person in the family as a Christmas gift, disguised as a Neiman Marcus gift. Uh, listen, I swear it's the truth. This is the honest truth. She broke tradition this year. She is not giving the banana to her relatives. She's giving it to me. Oh, look at this. Wait, is there any, is there any, where, what camera are you? Can you see any comparison? Yes. Great. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, I tell you, there is nothing I like better than opening gifts. So, which reminds me, you know, if any of you have anything extra around the house with bananas on it, send them. Our, our address is at the back of, is at the very end of the show. Just copy it down now. Start searching now for a pencil. Copy it down and send us anything. Send us your gifts. Send us your jokes. Send, send us, us anything. Send us your money. Yeah, especially send us your money. No, wait, I think that's against the law. You can't advertise for money on, t on public access television. But you can send us your love or anything you want. Anything you want to send us. <laughs> Okay, well listen, <clears throat> let's go on to the recipe, and tonight we're cooking banana pancakes. So what the first thing you always do in your favorite banana recipes is you get the bananas. So just get off, cut off the top of the banana and peel, you know, you want your puree of bananas. And it seems like all we've done these days is just puree bananas. but. Just puree bananas, and let me see. You know, remember what I always say, you want to find the, brown, the brownest ones possible. This is fairly brown, but this is even browner. So just peel your bananas like this, throw them in, and uh, puree them. Okay, now you know we're, what we're doing. Um, <clears throat> Since we're doing pancakes, you want to think about turning on your skillet because your skillet always needs to be flaming hot. Should I just go ahead and turn this on now? Sure. What you know, you let it. There, wh what? What have you got in there? What? In, in the. Uh, oh, in this? Uh -huh. I'm pureeing bananas. 
Had I haven't told you that? It's not like Rice Krispies or something. Well, you know how it is. Everything's rolling around and, you know, acting strange. Okay, this is, now you got your puree of bananas. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is add a little flour to it right here. So, okay, dump in the flour. I'm not going to add too much right this very second because you know how the problem is with too much flour too soon. And then now you add a little milk, you add one cup of milk. Okay, now we can start getting the mixture going right. Okay, we've got that. And you wanna also wanna add your huevo. Now in case any of you don't speak Spanish, huevo means egg. So just get your huevo, wait, take out your bananas. Okay, get your huevo, crack your huevo, and uh, beat it. Now, never stir with a knife. Stir up strife, stir up strife. So, beat, beat your huevo and add it. Okay, we got the huevo beat. Now you wanna just continue mixing this up a little bit. Now it's obvious that uh, we're gonna need a little bit more flour. So put a little bit more flour in. You know, just that all together. What? How much flour? Oh, I think it turns out to be about a cup and a half. A cup and a half of flour all together. And uh, you know, be sure that you find the smallest mixing bowl possible so that when you mix it, it all scoots out over the edge. Okay. Now, mix this up a little bit. Now we want to add a little bit of salt, you know, not too much. We don't need much salt. We want to add a little bit of salt to it. See if our skillet's heating up. I would call it ice cold. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> number one, the first thing you do, the first thing you do is plug it in. <laughs> okay, you know, oh boy. Okay, here it is right here. And the first thing you do, okay, there it is. Try not, to, okay, there, now you got it going. Okay, this is all right. Okay. Oh, oh, it's already heating up. Oh, wait, I wanted that to be a little bit more. Oh, this is just, okay, there it is. Okay, perfect. Now turn that on high, because, you know, uh, a, cool, a cold skillet will not cook pancakes, so it's got to be nice and hot. Okay, now what you do is a, a tablespoon of oil. Okay, and here's your tablespoon right here. Put a little oil in. And you know, of course, you can use uh, your all blend oil. You can use melted shortening. You can just use any kind of oil that you want. Give it a nice stir like this. Okay. And now what you do is you add your, uh, your baking powder, which is four teaspoons of baking powder. Now listen, I know it's the 80s. And all of you are thinking, Carmen, yes, we want it. Safety is here. something not to, right? No, we don't want you to catch yourself on fire, though. Oh, why isn't that right? I don't know. It just never does right, you know? Okay. okay then. It's so nice to have Stephen here fixing everything. Hmm. Can, I, can I help with this? No, I don't think we want to use a metal knife. Oh, you don't think so? No. Put another one of these help? I don't... Oh, there. Just... <laughs> Okay, there we go. I, think I don't think it's going to fit. There it is. Okay, we got it. Okay, now you got your four uh, teaspoons of uh, baking powder in the pancake. Oh, and like I was saying before we had the electrician come in and fix everything up, is that, you know, I know it's the 80s. You know, anyone in the world can go get a pancake mix and serve it that morning. But hey, you don't impress a soul. If you really want to impress your morning guests, make pancakes from scratch. And if you really want to impress them, make your banana pancakes from scratch. They're going to think, they're going to think this person is God's gift to the kitchen. Okay, now put it on a little uh, grease, even though we're using the, uh, the, the President Reagan skillet, <laughs> nothing will stick to it. You do want a little bit of grease in it also. So the way you test it is you throw a little water on the, uh, or throw a little cooking sherry in the, in the pan. 
Did it go? Wait, is, is it fizzing? I think that's hot enough. What do you think? Is that hot enough? Okay, it's hot enough now. Okay, now, what you, this is what you want to be very, very careful when you do, is that you want the cutest little petitest little pancakes imaginable. So you don't want the big, the big gloppy ones. You just want little tiny little pancakes like this. There's your pancake number one. Now let's just see how long this is gonna take. Okay. And listen, there's your three little pancakes just like this in the skillet. And listen, while we're waiting for uh, these, these pancakes to start cooking, let's go to the yellow grocer. Hi, today's yellow grocer is Constance, who is merchandising manager at the Whole Foods store. Constance, what kind of bananas do you have to show for us today? Mexican bananas. Now, what is so unusual about Mexican bananas? Uh, they're grown in the jungle, and they're organically grown, and they're extremely sweet. A little bit shorter than regular American bananas. Now, uh, there's something else. Have these bananas been fumigated or anything for importation? No, not at all. Mmm, that looks like the perfect banana. Do you mind if I have a little bite of it? No, help yourself. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> Constance, these, these Mexican bananas have a little bit richer taste, don't they? Yes, they do. Okay, well listen, Constance, thanks for being today's yellow grocer and showing us these delicious Mexican bananas. Thank you for coming to Whole Foods. Sure. Thank you, yellow grocer. And now you can always spot bana b banana pancakes when they're getting well done is because they start having little holes forming on the pancakes. And I don't know if you can see this, but see how the little hole, little, it's called little air holes from the Bubble. baking soda. What? Bubbles. 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 Is that what they're called? Bubbles. I've always called them air holes. Now, of course, in all of Casa Carmen, there's not a single a spatula or pancake turner in this entire house. In this entire plantation, there's not a pancake turner. But who cares? The show must go on. I'm not gonna let the pancakes burn just because there's no spatula. So use anything. You can't stir with a knife, but you can certainly turn one over. Now find the one that has the most bubbles on it and turn it over. Okay, now this is gonna be difficult. Oh, oh, look at this. This is perfect. Give that a good flip and Good, give this one a good flip, and wait, let's see how we can do this one. Wait, nearly got, oh look at this! Oh, that's nearly perfect, nearly perfect. And listen, while we're waiting for this, let's go to the Mystery Gourmet. Hi! Here we are at Martin Brothers Cafe, which of course everyone knows is in the Whole Food Market at 10th and Lamar. We're here to review Martin Brothers Cafe banana dishes. And of course you could not get any kind of an impartial review if they knew that Carmen Banana herself was here. So I have devised a plan to go incognito. Now in case any of you don't know what incognito means, that means in disguise. Now let me put my microphone up in my little stand. Look, wait. There it is. Look, Ma, no hands. And get out my mask. Now, now I know that no one in the world would dare, would think of recognizing me, not disguised like this. But in case you see me at a restaurant doing one of my mystery gourmets, do not scream my name out or anything because I want to be incognito. So listen, let's go on inside the restroom and taste the banana dish right now. Let's go. Hi, here we are inside the Whole Foods store, walking over to Martin Brothers Cafe. Hi. What would you like today? Oh, uh, what do you have in the banana department? Bananas? Well, we have fresh banana ice cream, we have banana soy cream, and we have fresh banana smoothies we make with apple juice, frozen bananas, and a splash of cinnamon. Mmm, frozen bananas. That's so it's a, it's a cold drink. Yes, very cold, thick, and luscious. Mmm, mmm, that sounds wonderful. You know, I think I'll have uh, a, one of those banana smoothies, please. Right. Uh, I don't think I'll eat it here, too. Anything else for you, Carmen? Oh, 
How, no, you don't know. I'm not who? Carmen who? Aren't you Carmen Bennett? Oh, no, that's, no, no, that's someone else. That's someone else. Oh, I'm sorry. But you know how, well, you know how bananas are. You know, once you see one, you know, we all look alike. One banana serves them all. Really, really. So listen, I'll just stand here and wait while you make the, the banana smoothie. All right. Okay, thanks right a lot. With you. Okay, thank you. We start with apple juice. Stephanie. Add a little bit of cinnamon. And last but not least, the frozen bananas. They are frozen. Great. Oh, the banana smoothie. Oh, this looks wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Mmm. Oh, frozen bananas. Mmm. And the apple juice. Mmm. And the cinnamon. This is absolutely delicious. Oh, thank you so much. You know, they have these cute little booths over here. Let's go over to the cute little booth and sit down and enjoy this the way, the way people do. Okay. Thank you. Sure, thanks again. Mmm, boy. Mmm. And I don't even think they recognize me. Well, one did, but that doesn't count. Listen, join us again next time when the Mystery Gourmet goes to your favorite restaurant one more time. And of course, we want you to leave a little tip because the help will always say, thanks a bunch. <laughs> Thank you, Mystery Gourmet. And now these are completely brown. As you can see, they're completely brown on both sides. What you do is you just flip them out onto your, oh, I'm so, sorry. <laughs> you flip them out onto your plate. Okay, here's this one and there's that one. And how can this be sticking to the, uh, to the Reagan pan? Okay, onto that. Okay, now we have them flipped on that. Now before, oh, here's a little, a little extra. Okay, now before we finish these up and get them nice, what I want to do is I want to put on another batch of pancakes because there's never enough pancakes. You always need to have one more batch going. Okay, so what we want to do is before we do anything, let's put on another batch. Can we get the recipe up, please? Where's the recipe? Okay, there it is right Right, okay, here comes the recipe. Now, notice that I am putting on another thing of, of banana pancakes. First thing you do is it actually says, uh, oh, the sugar, what's the sugar? I guess I completely forgot the sugar. Well, that's all right, it's gonna be sweet enough as it is. What else did I forget? I did remember the one and a half cups of, of flour. And then you get a cup of banana puree and uh, one half tablespoon, no teaspoon of salt. I remember that. I got the cup of milk. I got the one egg beaten and the tablespoon of oil and four tablespoons of baking powder. So that's your recipe, folks, for banana pancakes. And remember, you want the bananas to be as brown and soft as possible. Okay, and you can see right here that. Uh, the bubbles are beginning to form. Can you see this right here? The bubbles are beginning to form just a little bit. Okay, where is another bubble? Right here. Okay, right here. And listen, while we wait for this to go, let's see if we can get Carmen's driving school. Hi! One of the first things to remember when you're getting in the car is that first of all, you've got to, you've got to fit. If your banana's too big, 
just reach around and open up the top of the car. Oh, the magic of electricity. Isn't this nice? There. And now even the biggest banana will fit into any size car. Bye-bye. Huh? Well, listen, I hope you learn how to drive better than that. Okay, now what we do is that we have these cooking one more time. Uh, Looks like these are fairly brown. Oh, yes, let's see how well we can do these. Just, honey, whoever thought you could turn a pancake with a knife? I tell you, you're learning more things from Casa Carmen, aren't you? Okay, now, how does this look? Now, while we're letting these brown, you want to take your very, very, very best maple syrup in the world. How are we gonna get this? Okay, like that. You want maple syrup, because honey, if it's not maple syrup, it's just not the right thing. Oh. Uh, uh, well, well, listen, how badly do you want the maple syrup? Uh, is there a man in the house? Is there a man in the house? Here, Aisha, see if you can come over, see if you can get that open. This Aisha's is just... A man. <laughs> we need someone opening up that maple syrup. I want the maple syrup opened. Oh. No, no, I should have thought of this earlier. What are we gonna do without the maple syrup opening? I'm taking this back. What, the maple syrup is simply not opening. Okay, I actually didn't do it. Stephen didn't do it. Hitting it on the, uh, hitting it on the floor. Okay, that's not do We're passing it from crew to crew to crew. No one can, okay, forget it. It's not worth it. I'll save it for a rainy day. You got the uh, plier length nails on it? Yes, I need the plier length nails. For what you... Oh, and in the meantime, the bananas are cooking to a crisp. Okay, throw these out. Don't worry. We Listen, we have all day. We have all day. Did you get it open yet? Oh, well, who, who's the one that got it open? Yeah. Kevin did. Okay, start a few more. Let's, before we do anything, let's put a little bit more grease in. Start a few more. Grace. Grace. Don't forget the grace. You got to throw the grace in. So start a few more uh, banana pancakes because there's never enough. Never enough. You're going to have people crying for these things. Okay. Take your pure maple syrup and... Be very, very careful. Don't pour too much on it because you don't want it to spoil. Okay, there you go. That is perfect. Put the thing back on the top, and here you have, folks, banana pancakes all the way from Casa Cotterman. Listen, I'm going to go ahead and serve these up later. We're going to give these to the crew, and I can't... Is there anything else that needs to be done? Can't think of a thing. So listen... We've already done the recipe. Okay. We've already done that. I can't think of anything else we need to do. So listen, thanks again for joining us at Casa Carmen, and join us next time. We're going to have something else to cook. Thank you. Mm -hmm.